Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another week in my life. This is hands down one of my favorite weeks of the entire year because I am coming at you live from the Outer Banks. My family has been coming here and vacationing here since we were little, like over 10 years and I'm just so happy to be back. This is like truly my happy place where I relax, where I thrive, where I feel most myself. So I'm so excited. We've got the whole fam together. Madison was able to get off of work and because I love it so much here, we are actually staying two weeks this year. My parents got a week and then I got a week because I wanted to stay longer. So they're gonna work from home from here and I'm just so excited to have some family time to slow down a bit. You guys know I've been super crazy with the travels this year and I'm really looking forward to just kind of slowing down and really un and really unplugging. I've got lots of books, I've got lots of swimsuits to photograph, but other than that it should be a pretty chill week. I was able to wrap up a majority of my work before I got here, so I'm just I'm so happy you guys. We rolled in at about 10 o'clock. We just did the whole unpacking, grocery shopping little bit. And now I've got my bathing suit on and I'm getting ready to head down to the beach. Today I'm wearing a cute little trucker hat from Hermosa Beach. You guys know one of my New Year's resolutions was to start protecting my eyes and my face more. Um, so hat it is and then today's swimsuit is actually from Hollister super cute it's one of those underwire style tops but it's really supportive on my chest and then my little beach cover-up skirt is from Lulu's I got this when I was living in Florida and I wore it a ton so many of you guys have purchased this I will leave the links to all of my swimsuits from this week on my like to know it and down below in case you guys are interested in shopping because I literally brought like 30 swimsuits for this trip and then of course rainbow flip-flops and I've got my beach bag here I want to give this beach bag a quick little shout out I got this from hat attack and I brought it to Cabo and I brought it to Jamaica with me and it's literally life-changing if you guys know me you know I have been looking for a big straw beach tote for literally years like years and years and years and I have just not been able to find one until recently this is obviously very large it's got good long straps to it and my only complaint about it is that it doesn't zip I do wish that this bag zipped but it's okay I've got all the essentials which is like honestly nothing because you could literally leave me stranded on a deserted island and all I would need is a book some sunscreen and a bathing suit and I would be like the happiest person in the world I have my Ray-Bans in here a water and then my little tripod just in case that's all I'm bringing with me today. I'm not a towel girl. I'm about to grab my beach chair, but the reason why I love this bag so much is that it has the little like straps on it so that you can keep a straw floppy hat on it, which I love. So big fan. All right, I'm grabbing my beach chair. Tommy Bahama girl, if you know, you know. So if you are newer to my channel and you haven't watched one of my Outer Banks vlogs, we stay at a house that is like two rows back from the beach. So it's a super short walk, like I'm here and the beach is right down there. So super short and sweet walk. I end up walking back like probably two or three times a day, usually once for lunch. And then once if I need to like go in and charge my phone or just like, you know, reset for a little bit but it's literally the best. And we are in Kitty Hawk, for those of you wondering. All right, here's our beach access. I, if you know me, am a notorious eight to five beach dayer. Like I could sit out here and bake my body and read and swim literally all day. Typically, I will be like the first person out here, but because we had to check in and drive from home, um, we've already got a bunch of parties. So I'm gonna try to find us a good wide open space. Got my beach spot. I'm sure the rest of the fam will start trickling in within the hour, but I'm so happy you guys. Oh my gosh. Here's our water conditions for the day. We've actually got some pretty big waves breaking right here. Can't really tell how big they are because there's actually a shelf right here, but we've got jellies too. These are not the kind that sting, but they're like kind of annoying. So I'm hoping that they're not in the water. There's a bunch on the shore, so I'm thinking maybe the tide rolled them in, but wow. What's up vlog? It's like 2.30 right now and I just walked back to the house to eat some lunch. I just ate some rotisserie chicken and some cherries and a cookie. Very strange assortment of food. But um, usually I come back and eat leftovers and we don't have any leftovers yet, obviously, because we haven't been here for dinner yet. Okay guys, we found an outlet and Chase and I are blowing up our Barbie inner tubes. Okay guys, we've got our Barbie inner tubes. The 
Barbie movie came out yesterday. I didn't go and see it because we were like busy running around packing for the beach, but um, I heard it's very good. Look who it is! Rockstar Chasey here for the whole week to whole play week. mermaids. Whole week. All right, guys. I've been sitting out here for hours. I'm almost done with my book. I've probably got like 50 pages left. A good like easy day read and I like this one better than the last one she's a little bit older in this like two years older and she's nowhere near as like whiny in it which I really like anyways I think I'm gonna go in the water I've got the Barbie floats and my dad and Chase and Madison are in the water all right guys it's five o'clock and we're rolling out. Everybody is headed home for some happy hour drinks, a shower. We're ready to unwind. I didn't vlog that much today and it's because I spent all day in the water and reading, but it felt awfully good. Nice and crisped up. You know the drill, best part of a beach day. Outdoor shower. Okay, post beach day after sun is something that I don't take lightly. So here's my routine. After I get out of the shower, I apply one layer of Banana Boat um, After Sun Aloe. And I usually leave it in the refrigerator during the day so that it's really cold and refreshing. And then I'll do a layer of Banana Boat Moisturizing After Sun Lotion with Vitamin E. And then I will put a layer of like regular CeraVe lotion on my face as well. And then at night, I will go in with CeraVe healing ointment, like in areas that are really, really dry. So usually like my chest, my nose, um, things like that. My hair, I ended up um, not washing it today. I just got it wet and put some conditioner on the ends. This is something that I've been seeing all over TikTok that people have been saying, like if you're a super beach heavy girl to just stop washing your hair every day, even if it feels like it, just give it a good rinse. We'll see how my hair feels and I just pumped a bunch of Aussie miracle curls into it my goal is to like kind of embrace the uh, crazy humidity mane so I just scrunched it upside down and we'll see if it does anything but wearing my new rip curl shirt that I got from Glicks when I was in Wisconsin last week I'm super excited about it we're having a chill night in we just cracked open a bevy I'm drinking a white claw vodka soda with pineapple juice it's not my fave and we are cooking in today. We're having flank steak, which I'm really excited about. Okay, I'm laying down, waiting for dinner, and I finished my book. This one was so much better and really good hook at the ending. So I'm excited to read the third and final book tomorrow. That looks so good. Steak looks perfect. So you guys might remember a couple vlogs ago, Dad got a new computer. <laughs> you don't have to put that on the wall. I, I have to. I, and dad goes, this might be a tough one, <laughs> but I don't know how to get my computer on. I said, did you try the power button? <laughs> he goes, there isn't one. So I, I didn't go over there yet. I was like, well, what do you mean? Just, I guess, put your fingerprint in. Now I just walk over here. There's a power button right there, everybody. Whatever. Now, <laughs> So if you watched my last vlog, then you saw that I got a drone. I ended up getting a DJI Mini Pro 3 because so many influencer friends recommended this to me. And dad and I are going through the training for it right now. And we just watched this awesome guy. I'm not exactly sure his name, but it's on YouTube and I'll leave it linked down below in case you guys are in the same boat of trying to learn how to use your drone. But it was really interesting. Good morning, everybody. Before I get out of here this morning, I am uploading today's YouTube video, which is going to be my Jamaica travel vlog, all edited and ready to go. I just need to add the tags and the thumbnail. I literally slept like a baby last night, you guys. I think it was because I literally only got three and a half hours of sleep the night before, and I spent the whole day in the sun, but I went to bed at like 9.30 after our drone practice, our drone lesson, and um, I slept until like eight o'clock this morning. I feel so good. I always sleep amazing here. Anyways, I am off to the beach. It's 8.45 right now, and today's bathing suit is from Black Bow. I absolutely love their stuff. I have this specific style suit in a few different prints. It's one of the most supportive tops. If you have big boobs, this underwire is gonna like hold everything 
everything in but if you have small boobs it's going to give them a little bit of perkiness like a little bit of lift which i really like my bottoms too i feel like are a little more family friendly they still have some cheek but they're nothing super crazy so i figured i would wear this today because we are going to meet up with chase mrs Mannion, and then um nana and pop pop which are her parents um connor and chase's grandparents live here in the outer banks like a mile down the road so when we're here at the same time we get to see them a lot which is really fun so um we're gonna be spending a majority of the week with them it's only the two of them here right now but um still fun and then same cover-up skirt to walk over my rainbows and my beach bag my hat today is from altered state it says flower power on it um, and it matches perfectly so i have to take some pictures in this bathing suit today for black bow i want to post this to instagram usually when i'm at the beach i'll like take a picture in my swimsuit every single day and i'll literally just post every single day my swimsuit um and you guys seem to really like that so i have my big tripod with me i might try to shoot some this morning i don't know uh, i'm just gonna kind of play around with it and see what we can do but yay okay let's grab breakfast i ended up bringing that walmart tumbler that i was carrying a lot when i was in st pete on this trip because i really like that it keeps your ice cold like all day and then like the healthy eater i am i'm having one peanut butter cookie and one chocolate chip cookie for breakfast so i was grabbing my beach chair and my dad was like mckens do you want to go fly the drone a little bit and i was like course um he's like never up this early ever but he heard me and there's like nobody on the beach at 9 a.m so he was like let's take it out and try flying it yesterday we spent like a couple of hours watching videos and setting up all of the resolution and linking the like drone to you have to make an account you have to like play with the toggles and things like that but we haven't actually like taken it off the ground yet because it was dark last night so we're gonna try like taking off and landing it and like actually getting it in the air today i'm really excited i'm nervous but i'm really excited so It was a little too windy at the beach, so we ended up practicing just at the house for right now. Hopefully the audio is okay on this. I am back on the G7X this week, uh, my old, old camera, just because I'm trying to preserve my new cameras from the sand and the salt water, but yeah, I got my beach chair all set up. Um, beautiful, beautiful view. I am about to start We'll Always Have Summer by Jenny Han. This is the last of the summer I turned pretty. I'm sure I'll be able to start and finish this again today, so. So we've been leaving Abby like crated into the kitchen because she's getting a little bit older. And I just come in and Abby's crated in with a surfboard. <laughs> You're so cute. I'm sorry you've had to sit Hi, here all day. Abby girl. You're well, she's so funny. It's two o'clock, 1.45 and I'm eating lunch. I have leftover steak fajita. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. While we were home on our lunch break, I suggested that we blow up. I got the Barbie golf cart from Fun Boy a couple of months ago already, and we weren't in St. Pete anymore, so I saved it to bring here. Wow. We got a little fringe cover, so you. I like that you can take the cover on and off, though, because if you want to get sun, you don't need it. We're beaching at Nana at Pop Pop's Beach Access, which is a little bit further. It's a quarter like mile down the Quarter road. mile, so we don't really know how to get this golf cart there without having to lug it. We can put it on the roof and hold it. You just gotta go very slow. <laughs> <laughs> I got my side This is my favorite. Okay, so we decided to get this float so over to the beach. We were going to just put it on the roof and Chase and I are holding on to the other ends of an extension, extension cord because we didn't have a rope. <laughs> there was a rope in there, but it was kind of nasty. <laughs> We've got the whole crew here. My perfect Chasey. Chase, what did you think of the Barbie float? Fantastic. You love it? Yeah. Nothing like your smile in the morning. Madison just helped me take a picture. Thanks, sister. Best subscriber. And I'm finishing my book. 
I'm almost done. It's really good. I'm really curious which boy she's gonna pick. We literally had the best beach day, like such good time in the water today. My face is like super pink. Whenever I spend a lot of time like in the water, I feel like my face gets fried, but it's still so pale compared to the rest of me. But finished up my book, loved the ending. Really, really liked the last one. It was definitely the best of the three, I thought, but I wanted to know more. Like once she picks one of the brothers, I want to know like more resolution, I guess. Um, she definitely could have made another book about it. So I'm curious to see if she ever will. But anyways, we're back at the house and I'm about to pop in the shower. I got some sun today and we're gonna head out to dinner. The family is showered and ready. We are off to dinner. We're, ready to go. we're going to Hurricane Mo's tonight. Our favorite spot. You need to come to Hurricane Mo's if you are ever in the Outer Banks and you need to come to the rooftop while you wait. It has the best vibes of anywhere and they make such good drinks. We got a category five, which is basically a rum runner. It's like five shots of rum. You'll be so drunk after you drink one, but they're so good. It looks so strong, but it tastes so good. Sometimes it does, but it's well worth your money. And they put a dark floater on top and I don't usually like dark brown but I think it's good and they have a lot of music too. Everybody, Madison is branching out tonight. She got the Island Girl Chicken, which is what I get every single year for the last like seven or eight years that I've come here. It comes with mango salsa, which she doesn't like, and coconut sticky rice, which she's not a huge, huge fan of. I don't mind coconut sticky rice. But we'll see. Mom and Dad always get grilled mahi tacos here, and Madison scrapes her mango on mine. Black and not grilled. Oh, black and thank you, Dad, for the clarification. Yeah. Hey guys, and welcome back to Stop by McKenna's. Today we're gonna rate our meals from Hurricane Mo's. All right, Ma Madison mm -hmm. and myself at the same time because we have the same thing. Ready? Wait, hang on. Think about it. Really think on it. I vlog. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Nine. nine. Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Madison gave it a nine. A nine? Why would I wow, not? Wow, Madison. Why are we saying wow, Madison? Because Madison's never had it. you're a chicken tender, it. honey pie. You're a chicken tender girl in a coconut. You're a chicken tender in a coconut. And, 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 and we had a meal home. that mom would have made us at home. Like, All right, dad, mom, come here. Here's my mom reason. Mom dad, come here. There was nothing wrong with it. Honestly, it was it was lovely. It was I give it a five. delish. There was nothing what? wrong. A five. A five. A five. That's cruel and unusual a punishment. Why do you five. say a five? I drink straws again. It wasn't flavorful. Huh. Because you didn't put the mango on Where's the plate like I told you to. It, it, I asked for a blackened and it really Dad, had no blackened Dad, flavor. All right, all right. Dad got this Dad, exact same here. thing. What do you give it? Uh, six. Whoa, a my six. God. A five and a six. Wow, it, that's bad, it guys. It was overly the blackened. Um, I'm concerned for really? you both. It just seems like it needs some other kind of condiment Because I something. told you, salsa and house, I mean, house salsa and sour cream is not right for black and mahi. Well, ever. what happens is the normally answer. the cabbage has like some it's sauce like in it or slaw. something to make the slaw. Saucy slaw. Yeah, make it liquidier and creamier and whatever. It's just... It's just shredded. There, there's Today nothing it on bad. it whatsoever. No. Well, it's always kind of been no, like that. No, you need to get the. Well, you don't you like his mango, mango, but the the coco mahi. No, what I, I get, but the mahi version, I think you would like more. Say no to mango. The I hurricane know. five was good. I ended up getting a mm -hmm. pina mo or something, and it was okay. No, stick with the hurricane five. It's good. I wanted to show you it's my just outfit. I think the, I what did I get? Though. A category five. Yep. Yeah. Drink. He doesn't like juice. Don't listen to him. He drinks Michelob Ultra. No, I like juice. Someone, I don't like If you like, like a rum runner, you like this drink. Someone who orders a Michelob Ultra doesn't get, doesn't get to be on the same rating scale as someone who would order a vodka pineapple out. You know what? I agree. Hey, vlog. <laughs> I'm 58 years old. I've been drinking everything my whole life. If I don't like everything. the rum drink, That's guess fine. what? It tasted it's like it was no, no he doesn't like good. sweet drinks so no I, I don't mind a sweet drink but, yeah, but, no. but it, it, I, didn't, I didn't Cut. like the i tried waking up for sunrise this morning and my alarm went off at 5 45 and it was all rainy and like cloudy out so i didn't even go um i went back to bed for a little bit it's 8 30 right now and it's still raining which sucks i hope it doesn't rain all day 
um, I told myself that I was going to like get up and kind of have a little bit of a routine during these two weeks and like go on a walk every day and like, you know, but there's nothing I want to do less right now than go on a walk and it's raining so I don't have to. But um, while I wait for the rain to pass, I am going to hop on my computer and read some emails and start editing my Wisconsin vlog. I want that to go up on Wednesday. So trying to stay back on my Wednesday, Sunday routine. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I barely got any work done because my dad insisted on sitting next to me and rattling off facts about uh, Ernest Hemingway for like an hour. <laughs> hey, <he was> <laughs> Anyways, um, it is very rainy. It's supposed to be kind of rainy all day. So we've decided that we're just going to head over to Duck and do a little bit of shopping, stop and get some margs, um, you know, just kind of embrace a no beach day day at the beach, which is like my least favorite thing in the whole world, but it's okay. My top is from Abercrombie. My pants are from Calvin Klein. Shoes are Steve Madden. Just swapped out my necklaces, which I haven't done in forever. I feel like I used to be the biggest Goriana girl um, over the summer last year and while I was studying abroad and I just like haven't really been uh, super inspired to switch up my jewelry. And part of it is because I've been at the beach so much obviously over the last six months, but anyways, my stomach looks so tan. Guys, I, um, I got my appendix out one year ago today. Crazy. Anyways, okay. Um, mom and dad told me to eat before we leave, so I'm gonna heat up another fajita. I'll probably be the last person. Oh, they, there's room for one more, and I'm gonna stand if you want. All right, we made our way over to Duck. We're doing a little bit of shopping, oh, and he looks. No there's no arch support, but I mean, these have arch support. Well, yeah, it's an old. Time. Dad's trying on. Do some I looks. wear them with this? With these shorts? Yeah, you yeah. wear them with this type of outfit. What? You can I wear like, them with anything. I Dad like, needs a pair of those. I like the I mean, I've been trying better. to get you to get something like... But, but they look, the color is kind of throwing me off. Which, what? Do you like these? Uh, kind of what here's my thing. These are really cute. Yeah, this is, this is nope, the other ones look better, I think. These are too small. Okay. I, this needs to come all the way back. Dad insisted that we go to Wings, our favorite spot so that he could test out a new beach chair because he wants a big boy chair. I want to be a little further off the ground so I don't have to bend over. I got a cup holder for my beer, my phone because I use it so much at the beach. <laughs> Dad, will you buy me a hermit crab? Hermit crab? Yeah. But, but you know what? The weather can't always be perfect, but your outfit can be. We finished our shopping. Nobody bought anything. And we're at the Coastal Cantina now. If you remember last year's vlog in the summer, Mom had one mar two margaritas and was so, 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 so drunk. I've never seen her like this ever in my life. Insert this picture here. Um, and, it was <laughs> and it was because she drank one of these margaritas. I have two. I have a wine margarita. I have a really high tolerance too, so it's like totally. A anyways, so we stopped to get one today, and I. Let me see that again. Why weren't you in the bed? She fell why asleep would, like this. She was you, you, you literally you were gonna fall you, on the you were asleep on the floor like this for hours. <laughs> My back hurt. Back at the house, nobody bought anything. But it's it's okay. Oh, mom bought socks. Mom bought socks. Anyways, it's like 4:30 right now, and we are home, and it's actually nice out right now. So I've decided that I'm going to take some pictures. Um, I have a couple of things that I need to shoot this evening. Not a couple. Today I'm only going to shoot one thing. I have a couple of things I need to shoot over the next week or so. And I'm going to crimp my hair for this occasion. So, yeah. And then tonight's plans are just going to be kind of chill. We're having burgers at the house. And then Chase, Madison, and I are going to go mini golfing tonight, I think. Which I'm really excited about. This is the dress that I'm shooting today. It's from Shop Magnolia Boutique. Super cute, I love this. Has an open back, little halter neck, and I think I'm gonna go shoot this by the dunes on the beach. So, bring my phone and show you guys what I come up with. Dad's got the drone out, and I'm taking my picture. It's nothing like the way that you adore me. I can feel love from miles 
I couldn't resist it. I had to come to the beach just to take a quick little peek. I got my body wet, but not my hair since I have makeup on, but I'm so happy here, guys. It's unreal. Love it. Love you, out of it. Dad made his cheeseburgers for dinner. And we're having tater tots, too. Abby knows exactly what we're having because she hasn't stopped barking. Do you like burger night? Okay, Chase picked us up in his big toy car for big our big car. night out toy of golfing. Car. Madison, which golf course are we going to? This is Professor Hackers. Professor Hackers. I've never been here. I've only been mini golfing at the beach one time with Chase um, five years ago when I was on family vacation with him. Thank you, sir. I would say, hey Chase, who do you think is going to lose? But he already knows it's going to be me. <laughs> yeah. We're playing on the gold course today. And we're three holes in already. Mackenzie's not going to be the winner, but it's okay. Bless you. Chase, two holes in, what are you predicting that you're going to shoot? Let me see the scorecard. Um, 36. 36. Okay. Oh, no. Mackenzie just got a hole in one and Chase did it. <laughs> Sucker! Oh my. Loser! I just got a hole in one here. Ugh. Has anybody else had a hole in one? Chase has a first hole. We're getting ready for our last hole of the night and. I'm predicting that I'm in last place. Chase, how many below do you think that, how many, how far off of your original score do you think you are? He said 30, 36? Yeah. I you think know, you're probably at like 46. Yeah, me too. So, <laughs> I'll you tell know, you. It's, <laughs> no, don't tell us yet. Yeah, we have to drum later. roll later. Comment for Chase. Because he's at 53 right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hole in one for a 54. A 53? All right. Oh my god. Pretty good. Okay, what did I get? I got a, uh, I got a 57, Madison got a 51, and Chase got a 45, which I predicted you'd get a 45. You said you were going to get a 36. Yeah, that was rough. Good morning, guys. It is 5.55 right now, and I am headed to the beach to try and catch sunrise. So far, it looks like it's going to be a good one. Um, not too many colors, but it's looking pretty cotton candy out right now. I've got a swimsuit on under my sweatshirt and we'll see how it goes sometimes i go for a dip sometimes i'll just take pictures um today like we'll see if it's even worth anything but yeah best time to be out i'm also barefoot because i couldn't find my flip-flops and i was like rushing so <laughs> this is what we're working with right now successful swim you guys I'm not gonna tell you that it was the best sunrise I've ever seen but it was a pretty solid one so that's good um, I'm walking back to the house now it's like 630 and I'm very sandy I'm gonna rinse off really quick in the outdoor shower and I'm actually not gonna go back to bed today I like feel fine I'm not like tired at all I feel like when you get in the water it like really wakes you up and kickstart the day so I'm gonna do a little bit of editing I really should go for a walk. I just don't want to, but I'm, I need to. Chase will be here at 9.30. Um, we told him yesterday, we were like, I mean, there, it doesn't make any sense for you not to come over um, and speech with us because otherwise he would be sitting at home doing nothing. So we were like, come with us. So we're gonna take the Barbie car out and they're gonna be here at 9.30. I've been back at the house for like an hour now. And I just edited a really good chunk of my week in my life that's gonna go up tomorrow. I still have like 20 minutes left of it. But um, it's like 8 o'clock right now and I decided that I needed to go for a walk and get moving. So my mom's going to come with me. And I'm wearing a cute new set from Isla Movement. They just came out with 
these new colors so i'm wearing orange bike shorts and then this little white long tank super cute and then i've got on my hokas i haven't worn these ones in a while they're the bondi eights and i love them so okay usually i walk on the beach but mom wants to go around like the neighborhood instead today so that's what we're doing probably just two miles all right 40 minutes in and i can tell you that i much prefer to be walking on sand just because i think it's more scenic and it's easier to walk further faster but this is still good too Okay, short and sweet little two miles with mom. And now I'm dressed and ready to head to the beach. Cup she bathing suit today. This is from Shein. Got my water from Walmart. And then my hat today is from um, a small surf shop in Folly Beach, South Carolina. Starting the Ellen Hildebrand Trouble in Paradise series today. There's three books. I've heard really good things about this. Mrs. Mannion brought it to me. Um, her and Nana have both read it. These books are a little bit longer than um, like the Summer I Turned Pretty series. So it'll probably take me a couple of days to get through each of these. But yeah. So I got to the beach later today than I have any other day this week. It's 1040 right now. And there's literally not one person out here. I always like Saturdays because it's usually when people check out of their rental and new renters come, which means that the beach is less crowded, but I think because of the wind today, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. This is just like putting me in the best mood this morning. There are a few things in life, you guys, that I love more than a beach all to myself. I'm out here in my beach chair. Chase just got here. Um, I'm sitting getting some sun. The UV is really low right now. It's only like six today. It's partly cloudy out. But I'm reading Ellen Hill Grant, Winter in Paradise. I'm like 35 pages in so far and one thing that I really struggle with Ellen Hildebrand books is there's so many characters and so many different points of view that I feel like it's a lot of work to keep up with um like definitely not a high school reading level does that make sense like her her books make my brain think a little bit further but I just took a bad tumble with the Barbie float and dad was trying to keep me afloat and it ripped the it ripped the rope right off of it and it popped the whole thing, the whole thing deflated. Bye Barbie! <laughs> the Barbie floats dead. How's your beach day going? Uh, very interesting. Very interesting? Yeah, the golf cart Barbie float was pretty fun. Are you sad that it's deflated, that it's no. dead? You're not? <laughs> I like the other one better. And we like the convertible best because the convertible fits all three of us and the golf cart was like really hard to get on and off. But it's okay. It was still a cool little toy. I want to go back to the house and get the other floats but we're wrapping things up at like two today because we're all going to the pier for drinks and for like happy hour shrimp so it's like 11 30 right now and everybody's just kind of hanging out We had a good beach day. Probably the best water and wind conditions that we've had since we got here, but it stinks to be up to leave early, but it's okay because we're excited. We're gonna eat yep. shrimp and get some drinks. Yeah. We're meeting up with Nana and Pop Pop and Mrs. Mannion. So we're just headed home to shower and get ready. Okay, everybody, I'm finally the level of tan that I can pretty much forego face makeup. I just put on a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes and slapped on some blush i've got mascara on still on the fake freckle kick man i like it all right um this is what i'm wearing 
I'm wearing a cute little dress from American Eagle. Literally the most casual dress. I have it in three colors. It's like $10 right now. I'll look it down below. The more that I see myself with wet hair like this, the more I think that this is the most flattering on me and that I need to just dye my hair dark. We'll see. I like it with your skin color right now. But my hair is super, super wet right now still because I took a shower. So I'm just gonna have to like put it in a claw clip or like, I don't know. Okay, so if I'm ever going out in public in the middle of the day, I will end up using Kopari body gel. It's like the perfect after sun, but it has SPF in it and it makes you super glowy. So I'm about to put this on. We were planning on going to the pier, but it was closed because it's Tuesday. So we're at a different spot right now called Max Head Pier. What's it called? The Max Head Pier. Oh. Well, we're at some bar and I just got a hurricane. So we're at the Max Head Pier. Cheers. Well, no, hey guys! No, 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 it's not red. Chase is yesterday. Yesterday, Chase took his love language test, and I found out that his love language is physical touch. No, his first love language was quality time. Quality time. It was quality time. It was physical touch second, and he won't hug his back. He loves that. Okay, it's time to go. We're moving spots. It's a cluster out here. So we went to multiple places, and we ended up at the Black Bean, which I've come to before with Nana. The Bad Bean, sorry, the Bad Bean. And I've come here with Nana before, and I got a chicken burrito. Chase is laughing, he got a beef burrito. They got carbon mahi. Beef quesadilla, sorry guys. Madison guy, I'm gonna just let you tell them. Start over, start over. She got chicken tacos? I got chicken tacos. They have a lot of pico. Dad got pork. We'll let you know. I gave my meal an eight and a half. I'm gonna give my meal a seven. 8.143. An eight, and I like yes. the mahi better than the oh, shrimp because it had more. Oh, you ask and then you don't even stay here. Sorry, sorry. The mahi had more seasoning and was more flavorful in my opinion. I gave them both a nine, I like them both. Chase wanted to play the game of life, so that's what we're playing. And mom's losing. Okay. If that's even possible in the game of life. Big time. Because she paid off her loans too early. <laughs> that's the consequence. But she's debt free. I'm not yep. debt free, I'm six feet tall. Chase my has card. twins. Oh. Oh. The problem is, what are we is doing? that Chase has Somehow twins. I lost my job. Because <laughs> yeah, it's the game of life, you go. Yeah. Chase has twins, boy girl or boy boy? Boy girl. I learned sign language too. Yeah. Well, guys, I lost the game of life. But the good news is that I retired She's first. A loser. I retired first, so I'm really the winner. No, she just right, Abby? says she is. She's trying to make herself feel better. For those of you that want yeah, an update girl. on Abby, she's still taking her kidney meds. She's doing a lot better. She's not crying as much, but she's definitely still getting slower. She's still dramatic. But I she's doing okay. Yeah. Right, Abby yeah. girl? Abs, come here. All right, good night, dog. Good night, Madison. Good night. Good night. Good morning, you guys. I feel like I have been a horrible vlogger on this trip. But when I go to the beach, I feel like I never vlog when I'm sitting in my chair. I'm just like relaxing and not as chatty but we've had the best few days um yesterday we didn't end up at the, either of the places that we planned on going but we still had a great time i drank two drinks and literally they were so strong it was insane it's, it was still such a fun night i went to bed at like 9 30 it was a pretty early night and i woke up this morning and i finished editing my youtube video and i'm going to process that to youtube while i'm at the beach and upload that later this evening since it is wednesday and I also booked my flight to Cancun Airport. I'm going to Tulum for 10 days in August for Jules' 30th birthday. And I basically am getting home from this. I'll be home for like three, four days. And then I'm going right to Mexico again, my third time this year. And to get to Tulum, it's a little more remote. You have to fly to Cancun and then it's like an hour and a half drive. So I booked that flight this morning and just 
responded to some emails and things like that. So I'm having a little bit later of a start. Uh, it's 9.27 right now and I'm about to leave for the beach. I am wearing this adorable suit from Black Bow. This is actually old. I got this when I was living in California last year, but it's one of my faves. It's a little bit cheekier in the back, but it's super cute. And then this hat that has the seashells, isn't it fun? It's from Aerie, so... Yeah, let's hit the beach. I've got quite a bit of work to do in my beach chair today, actually. Um, I have two sponsorships that I need to get up. I want to post some stories. And then I actually have my monthly touch base call with my manager. Chloe is going to call me at like 1 o'clock today. So we'll be a little bit busier of a day. But Okay, since our Barbie golf cart is dead, we've just got the Fun Boy tubes today. I'm going to bring those and then our barbie convertible it deflated last night so i'm gonna let madison and chase put some air in it and bring it as much as i love this thing it's kind of a pain to bring with just because it's so big it's kind of heavy so i'll let them grab that i'm just gonna bring my chair for now off to the beach 9 30 late start for me man just me and my beach essentials if i were stranded on a deserted island that's what i'd want the water is so calm today man we should have saved the barbie golf cart for today Okay guys, two hours later and I've officially linked to everything that I needed to to like to know it. I posted an Instagram post, an Instagram reel, tons of stories, two sponsorships up, and now I'm finally ready to dip in the water. I'm sweating so bad right now. I called Chloe and now I'm back at the beach. I'm gonna read for a little bit. It's really hot though, so I'm gonna drag my uh, Tommy Bahama chair down to the sand. Chase and Madison are out there with their Barbie float. Perfect yeah. chase! Perfect chase! What's wrong with you? I got stung by a jellyfish. Really? Yeah. Where? Both Alright guys, I just got back to the house. It's like 5.15 right now. I'm going to take a shower, rinse off, put some makeup on, and then we're headed over to the Mannions. We're doing a uh, like cocktail and heavy hors d'oeuvres night there. I got a lot of sun today, guys. Okay guys, I'm gonna give you a quick little makeup routine because I have been wearing makeup quite a bit at the beach here because we've been doing things. Usually we just like hang out and don't really leave the house, but you know, we've been socializing since we've been here. So this is what my face looks like without makeup right now. It's definitely much, much tanner, but I have some pesky breakouts because I'm supposed to get my period tomorrow. So anyways, okay, put on some moisturizer and then what I'm going to do, I'm gonna skip out on face makeup, which is big for me because you guys know um, I really hate doing that, but I'm gonna just put on a little bit of concealer. I've been using the Lancome Taint Idol, and I'm gonna put this on my problem blemishes and a little bit underneath of my eyes, and then I'm just gonna put some blush on. That's all I'm gonna do for face makeup. All right, good. Now time for blush. I've been using this, and I've been using this Urban Decay like liquid blush. This is in the shade Wrecked. It gives you like a really dewy look, so I really like this. I've kind of been switching back and forth. You just go like this and you just pat it right on your cheeks. Okay, I'm in the midst of growing my eyebrows out right now. I just like feel like looking at older pictures of myself. They used to be so much thicker. And so my eyebrows have been just like kind of out of control because as you guys know, the growing your eyebrow out process is not a fun one or necessarily a quick and easy one. So I've been using this e.l.f. brow um lift which is very similar to the one that like literally everyone on tiktok uses to spike their eyebrows i personally don't feel like i have the right eyebrow shape to like spike them right up um this like the the tail end of this eyebrow is giving me so much trouble but this has been like helping give them a little bit of shape and not look so bad while i 
attempt to grow them out hopefully i can go and get them waxed in like one more week but okay and then i'm just gonna fill in the tail ends of these okay then i just put on a little bit of highlight i've had this literally since my junior prom in high school so like this is six years old probably expired but i've been using it on my brow bone and on my inner corner and to highlight my face literally every day for years and um it's been fine so I just still use it if I'm like, why buy a new one? Okay. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is put on some mascara. Okay. And then for like the last month and a half, ever since I went to Barefoot Country Music Fest, I've been like obsessed with doing just a handful of fake freckles. I use this freckle pen from Bic, like the, the pen brand. They have like a bunch of like paint markers and then they also have a freckle pen and it's like so good um you can do them like a bunch of different sizes i usually just put a few and then i like pat them out to look a little more natural obviously you can spend as little or as much time doing this as you want make them super close whatever um it just comes right off like eyeliner it's like super super easy and i just like it i feel like it gives a little something on my nose sometimes i do more than others i just pat it out um, as you can tell, I also put a little bit of eyeliner on and then the last thing that I'm going to do is put on um, some of this Ulta Lip Plumper. It burns so bad, but it works. It makes your lips look so good. Okay guys, here is my makeup and my outfits. I'm wearing Abercrombie Tank, same white jeans I was wearing the other day, Roxy flip-flops, same bag. It's going to be super casual, we're literally just hanging out at the house. So I figured comfy and casual was It's more. heavy hors d'oeuvre night. <laughs> Dad, you've barely been in this vlog. I know, you're leaving me out. I'm the most important person in the family because... Stop looking here, look there. Oh, I'm looking right here. Yeah. <laughs> we've got shrimp cocktail, we've got corn bean, wait, Tennessee, what is it? Tennessee caviar. caviar. We've got prosciutto, for salsa. cheese, Don't let them fool you. stuffed peppers, burrata, special what for me, cheese, so sir? good. That's a that's champagne. A, that's what is a that cheddar. Mean? Champagne cheddar. I like it, it's soft. I like this uh, poor derby thing going on. <laughs> pretty good, you get a lot of choices. Mrs. Mannion, who she doesn't like me to call her Mrs. Mannion. She's wearing her hair natural, we both are. We're embracing the natural girls. Hers is a lot curlier than mine. But anyway, she got me a Mike's special. The strawberry. Taking me back to senior year. Taking me back. The strawberry <laughs> in the bottle. Something about it. But you just like, I can only have one and then it just, I'm like, I'm over it. Then but it just say. tastes like good memory. Good morning, you guys. I don't know what my issue is, but like I am waking up so unbelievably exhausted. Like. I feel like I could turn over and sleep for another six hours. And I always feel that way when I'm here. And my mom's like, it's just because you've been in the sun. So like your body's just exhausted. But I'm like, I'm in the sun a lot. But for some reason when I'm here and she's like, you're relaxed, like, you know, but um, anyways, it's 7.45 and I'm about to go on a walk. Um, wearing full Halara today. And then my Hoka's, they don't really match, but um, this is what I, those are the only sneakers I brought, so. I've got my AirPods in and I'm just walking it out. I wish I could be a runner, you guys. But the nice thing about walking is that I can be on my phone and get stuff done. Um, like I said, I had a call with my manager, Chloe, yesterday and we are brainstorming some ideas for fall content and kind of just starting to prepare for quarter four because as you guys know, I will be in Europe for a little bit, so. Just kind of, you know, going through the motions. I'm submitting lots of analytics this morning. I'm choosing selects for some upcoming campaigns. I just woke up to another collab with Lululemon, which is really exciting, and another one from Ulta. So, very happy start to the day, but just checking off a couple work things while I'm at it. And even though it's 88 degrees outside right now, and I literally feel like I'm dying of a heat stroke, um, I'm making myself continue walking until everything is checked off of my list this morning. My walk was good, you guys. I walked like three miles and I got a bunch of work done. The only thing that I wasn't able to do was choose my white fox selects, but it's okay. I've got a long beach day ahead of me and that's something super easy to do from my beach chair. 
I also really need to write a blog post today. And my goal is to finish my book. I really, really want to finish that. Alright, my bathing suit today is from Black Bow. I just got it. And I really like it. I could have gone up to a small in the top. It's a little short on the sides, but really cute. I don't usually wear red that often, but I feel like it's really flattering on my skin tone. Well, I always say that about every color when I'm this tan, but anyways, my hat is from Hat Attack. And then I switched out my beach bags today because I'm envisioning um, a good vision for a picture in this. So. Okay, I'm off to the beach. It is scorching hot today, man. So much hotter than it has been and the water is as flat as can be. Chase and Madison are coming to the beach in like an hour and a half probably. They always sleep in and come whenever they feel like it. So usually like 10.30. Um, but I'm telling them to bring the big Barbie raft because today is literally the perfect day. Like, wow, this is my favorite kind of beach day. Like no waves, just so, so, so beautiful. I just read for like an hour and a half. My book is getting good. Ellen Hildebrand books take forever to like set up the characters in the plot, but now I'm very intrigued. And Mrs. Nanan said that it's the same characters for all three books. So I'm curious what's gonna happen. I'm like two thirds done, but Chase just got here, which means that I have to stop reading and get in the water for a bit. They brought the Barbie floats down. We've got the inner tubes. Well, actually, just one inner tube. Every time I come back to the house, dad's outside practicing with the drone. The yeah. drone is so fascinating, you guys. Like all of those videos that you see on Instagram where it's like perfectly being followed, they're basically controls that the DJI can do. And so you can just trace a box around you and it can follow you in and out and it can follow you in a circle and it will like steadily do all these things to the point where you don't even have to do any of the work. But we've been having some trouble figuring out how to do it. Okay. So dad's outside practicing. I'm eating a really, really, really healthy lunch of two hot dogs and some pineapple. Awfully strange combo, but say hi. finished my book Winter in Paradise and it got significantly better in the second half. I really found myself like thinking about it when I wasn't reading it and just like very curious what was going to come next. It feels like you get some closure towards the end and then in like the last two three pages she really throws that like hook and sinker in that just keeps you wanting more. So I have book two back at the house. I'm gonna wait and start it tomorrow. Um, just sitting in my chair working on a blog post now, just writing it from my phone. I was finally able to get my YouTube video to upload, so I'm publishing that as well. Again, something that I could just do from here, which is really nice. I just popped in the water, but it's like four o'clock now, just enjoying the sun. Just got back from our nine to five beach day, and I'm about to hop in the shower. I am feeling crispy and ready to wash my hair. I've just been using conditioner in it like the last three days. Today I'm gonna give it a good washing. It's super curly right now too. Dad made us one of my favorite meals. Well, dad grilled, mom put to, mom assembled the salads. Greek chicken salvaki with feta and tomato and cucumber and yes. Daddy, no, please. Stop. Please. No. Why? Because I said so. Why? Because I said no. Guys, Madison's being you can't be respectful. <laughs> no, I want to. No. I want to lay out your cover. No, because you're covered in sand, and even if you shower, no, I'm not. You are. <laughs> Madison, ah! my whole family knows that. <laughs> The worst. For the rest of my she life, I'm just always going to be covered in sand. <laughs> that doesn't mean I, I brought you my a bed. tree. I brought you a treat. <laughs> These are the best things ever, guys. Costco, Girl Scout thing, mint, chocolate covered pretzels. If you didn't know, a fun fact about me is that chocolate covered pretzels are one of my favorite snacks. Just like how your favorite holiday is in July. <laughs> I want you guys to know that that <laughs> caused a severe argument between us tonight. Okay. I'm choosing stuff from Lulu's right now. We like. I love this dress. You can't get rid of it. I don't really like this dress, but it is a different. I like the color, and that's a different vibe. style. Good morning, everybody. It's five fifty-four. 
Chase is here, guys. He missed us. Um, and he hasn't woken up for sunrise yet this trip. It's usually tradition that we do it at least once. And then a couple years back, I started doing it multiple times. But usually everybody comes once. cold at 6 45 because they just opened but it's still good my hash brown ended up being actually pretty good um anyways i'm back at the house decided not to go back to bed today i'm just like awake ready to start my day so i am in bed editing a halara try on haul um i did have a couple of videos pre-filmed so i'm just kind of spending like time each morning editing them so that i can stay on track for youtube this month so i'm editing this right now i'm following up with some emails i'm trying to get um kind of a schedule for my fall travels i want to go somewhere um to shoot fall content like somewhere where the foliage is going to be really nice um a little bit cooler so if you guys have any ideas let me know i'd really like to try a new state like maybe new hampshire or maine or vermont i've never been to any of those states and i feel like that could be really cool in like september but i don't know because i've never been there so if you guys have a spot that's like really beautiful in the fall time let me know um because I'm starting to work on that type of stuff too, so. Okay, I'm going for a walk, you guys. And I'm wearing this new set from Isla Movement. Same brand as the white and orange set that I was wearing um, the other day. I love this. The top is like really mini. It's like more of a like bralette style. I feel like this would be a really good lounge set to wear with like a hoodie or something over top of, but it's like 88 degrees outside right now. So I figured that it would be okay to wear this today on its own. I've got my hokas on, about to throw my hair up and just get a little bit of a walk in. Nothing super crazy, it's already 8.15 right now, so. I'm listening to Tyler Childers' new song. And it's absolutely wrecking my soul to pieces in your love. If you haven't listened yet, you need to. Whenever I'm on my period, I like to wear all black. So that's what I'm doing today. My top is from Shein, but the bottoms were really skimpy. So I just changed into a pair of like solid bottoms from Urban Outfitters. And I switched back to my hat attack bag today. Hat is the same from um that small like little surf shop in folly beach south carolina i know my face still looks so much paler than the rest of me but it's gotten so much sun so i really need to keep this on for most of the day i'm at the beach and the water is literally freezing I went in for a bit because I had to pee, but it's really cold today and it's pretty windy, but anyways, I'm starting a new book today, What Happened in Paradise, the second of the series, and I just read like 100 pages. It's really good. I really like this one so far. So yeah, sister's here. Oh. Hey guys. Madison's using my sunscreen. I'm almost done with this bottle. Where is it? Show them what you're using trying to finish this one so that I can start something new that I haven't tried before. Um, but I do like this stuff. It's SPF 50. Hello everybody. I'm back home. And I'm making myself some lunch. I put last night's Greek chicken on a tortilla and added some feta. And I'm gonna add some cucumbers, 
Unfortunately, I don't have any tomatoes that are cut. There's tomatoes. There's tomatoes in there. I would just have to cut them. Oh my god. <laughs> no, you're going to eat them because they're going to go bad. Okay, according to mom, I'm going to cut them and eat them. Okay, now we have some tomatoes. And then we're going to put a little bit of tzatziki. I should have done this in a... Um, Pita that was there? In a pita, but I didn't really think about it, so. And they're right there in the fridge. So, here is, it is on a wrap. It's going to taste just as good, besides the fact that I accidentally overheated the tortilla. Got to be honest, you guys, I'm usually a very big snacker when I'm at the actual beach. Like, I just lock on snack after snack while I sit there. But Chase has been keeping us so busy that I haven't even had time to snack. So I haven't been snacking at the beach. And there was nothing striking my fancy. That is until I just discovered that this was open. Finally, someone opened it. I was doing my best to hold off. But Mom opened the Wild Roots Coastal Berry Trail Mix. God, I wish these people would sponsor me. This stuff is so good. It has cranberries, yogurt chips, cashews, blueberries, almonds. I don't know, it sounds like a strange assortment, but it's literally so good. And you can only buy it at Costco, I think. I've never seen it anywhere else. So, I just made myself a bag of it to bring back for my afternoon. You guys, Dad! <laughs> I just sat down in my Tommy Bahama chair to enjoy a relaxing afternoon. And then, <laughs> and literally just <laughs> No! Don't be fooled, I have had a Tommy Bahama chair break actually twice before because I happen to be a big user of my big chairs, but I've never had one break like this and it was a very hard And Madison just watched it happen. Well, my chair broke, but Madison is being the best sister ever and she went back to the house to get me a new one. Um, so I'm sitting in her chair in the meantime and getting back into my book. Chase is on his way. Hello friends. We just said bye to Chasey and Mrs. Manion. It's 5.30 right now. But not to fear, we'll see them in three hours because we can't go that long without seeing each other. We're gonna get ice cream with them tonight. And I am eating chips and queso as if I've never eaten in my life. The uh, Costco queso is really good. So I had an unfortunate incident today that I forgot to tell you guys about. But this afternoon, I was bit by what we thought was a fly. But as you can tell, is clearly um, something much bigger. Wow, it was scary, you guys. Almost, it, it's like so big, it hurts so bad. It's really tender to the touch, but Anyways, um, I'm surviving. I took a Benadryl and put some stuff on it, but um, I'm looking to, looking pretty dark, you guys. Um, I'm about to hop in the shower. Just put something casual on, because like I said, we are just hanging out with the Manions tonight. Nothing super crazy. Hey guys, we haven't really vlogged hey guys, much as a family. Back. Just thought about my kids. This is been the most boring. Outer Banks vlog. I know, fun usually funny. they're so funny and we've really been slacking this week. Um, but we haven't, we haven't like, well we have been we've out as a family. Without you. Yeah, we just, we just haven't had the camera on much. Part of it is because this camera, I'm so nervous to bring it places because of it being new that I just have been vlogging on my phone which in turn has led to me not vlogging. So I apologize, I promise next week I'll be better. But anyways, right now we are off to get ice cream as a family and we're meeting drum roll please <laughs> Chase. and we're going to booty treats um which is his spot he Mrs. likes Manion's this place mrs manion's coming too but because chase can eat it yeah 
Uh, Chase is allergic to eggs. I don't know if we've ever really explained that, but we're always saying that he he's can't. To the world. He's um, allergic to a lot, but we always but are saying that Chase can't problem. eat that. But really, eggs is the only thing that causes like a lot of issues. Um, so he can't eat ice cream or like sweet treats, but he can eat some of the milk. things at booty treats. No, he can't eat. Yeah, but he can eat milk. He can eat milk nuts really in like and chips and in Oreos and in. Yeah, but peanut butter is annoying. Chips have milk He's allergic in them? to Doritos peanuts do. and shellfish yep. and like dairy. And Just like a lot. The rest of everything. But he's perfect. So if anybody is 18 and looking for a perfect <laughs> guy, I've got the one for and you. He won't complain about, about it. Though. Someone who, loves someone who golf. loves golf and someone who loves to play in the water. He'll teach you. And he's has, good at everything, so it might piss you off if you're competitive. But yeah, he will teach he you how to do everything. better at everything. And he has You'll the most amount of patience of any guy I've ever met, yeah. ever. He taught me how to play cornhole better, but it didn't stick for some reason. So if yeah. you have anybody um, that you're interested in pawning off, let us know in the comments. <laughs> Oh, and important to note, they must be okay with hanging out with Madison and I. And right. Mom, That's, yes. And mom Obvious. and dad. Obvious. But really, Madison and I is a key, key factor. If you don't like us. They can't be jealous. They cannot yeah. be jealous I of us. Absolutely cannot. You can't date Brother Chase. <laughs> okay, anyways, cut to the ice cream. <laughs> I got brownie powder and I thought it sounded good and now I think it's gonna give me a tummy ache and I'm scared I'm gonna shit my pants a <laughs> Blue raspberry. Easy. I got a mini scoop of raspberry sorbet. Mom, tell them what you got. I got mini chocolate. This is Manny. <laughs> Miss Jen. <laughs> Thank you. Tell them what you got. Salty caramel chocolate. It's very good. Dad, the only one with the cone. Nana, yeah. what'd you get? Snowball. I got moose tracks. Vanilla moose tracks? Is it peanut they butter cups or chocolate? They're, they're little peanut butter cups. Don't make us leave, baby Chase. Yeah. Wait, Chase, we gotta set this up so they can see you in your full glory because I just talked about you. What? We just talked about how good looking you are. <laughs> All right, Chasey, we'll see you at home. Yeah. On the youngest fifth. Can we go to Jimmy Cone? Uh -huh. Be perfect. <laughs> Jimmy Cone on me. No, on me. Here, brother. Everybody in. RuPaul. RuPaul. Deanna, come We're here. Get in here. Deanna. <laughs> get in, everybody. Oh, I'm stepping out. Jeez. We got the thumbnail. Oh. I just popped my head outside, and because it's so windy, it's still a little chilly right now. So, not chilly, but you know what I mean. Like, not hot. So, I figured that I had no excuse. I should still go and walk. So, I'm wearing the same airy shorts I was wearing last night. Free People Movement Rollette. I love this bra so much. Um, I have two of them in white. I ordered one, and then Free People sent me another one. Um, so I wear them a lot and then I just have on my hokas. The more I walk around here, the more I love it and the more I think to myself, I think that I could just literally be happy anywhere that I was walking distance to the beach. Like, I can't describe how myself I feel when I'm this close to the beach and just like in a routine to some degree as much as I love the travel. like. Being in a routine feels like reconnecting with a part of myself that I've been really missing. Um, college me, you know, who is so like, go, 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 go. Feels so good. I don't know. All right, I walked two and a half miles and it's definitely warming up, which is good. Submitted a bunch of insights from last week's brand collabs and now I'm about to put my bathing suit on and get out. I'm looking jacked right now. I don't know why. I think it's just the sunscreen, but anyways. Um, cute little yellow bathing suit today from Shein. Little gingham moment. And then I'm wearing my straw cowboy hat with the seashells from Lulu's. My face has been getting a lot of sun, so I want to finish my book today. It's so good. And when I read, I feel like I get a lot of sun, so I'm going to keep this on for most of the day. Like, I don't know if you can see this. There are a couple of chairs set up, but literally nobody in the water or even sitting.
in any of the chairs. So we've had westward blowing winds the last three days, which usually means that the water is freezing cold. And let's see how it is today. It's not as cold as yesterday, but still chilly. Little beach walk. start reading I am loving this book and when it's this hot outside it's like 96 degrees outside right now I usually will drag my chair right down there that way every single time a wave comes I get a little wet okay you guys I came back to the house because I was hungry and I wanted to retrieve the next and last book I finished what happens in paradise this one I thought was way better than the first one um, and they leave you on quite the cliffhanger <gasps> what's gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna find out when I read Troubles in Paradise, which is the third and final book of the series. I really, really, really like it so far. Back at the beach with book number three. Guys, it's five o'clock. I'm closing up shop, but I am grabbing a picture really quick. I'm standing over by the dunes super super windy today but um, I've got it like into the sand a good bit I'll leave my tripod link down below because it is pretty good in the sand you should rinse it out with like regular water not salt water when you're done with it at the end of the day because sometimes when the sand is in it it gets like stuck um, when you are like retracting and pulling it out but other than that it's super sturdy it does really well in the wind and the water I think hi guys I just took a shower and now we're having pizza we went to a place that Nana recommended called. What is it called? Well, pretty good. Vinny's Pizza Joint. Vinny's Pizza Joint. It looks like so greasy, but it looks really good. I just realized we never rated our pizza, you guys. I'm gonna give it an eight. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, it was a little soggy in the crust because of the grease, but I thought it was good. The good flavor, Mom. Same. Okay, Madison? I completely disagree with your sogginess in the crust. Mine, I think mine it, was not soggy. Well, I not I ate like all. 10 minutes later than they did because um, I was but I'm still getting out of the shower. A seven and a half because okay. I just don't see... It was good pizza and I'm glad that it wasn't soggy and like whatever, but there was just like nothing that wowed it, no, me. It didn't wow me, but I feel like most pizza here usually disappoints me and this didn't disappoint me. It exceeded my expectations. I give it an 8 because it didn't wow me, but I, I, the only thing that really was the problem, it made a little more cheese. Anyways, we are at the movie theater now. We are going to see Barbie! Bobby changed everything. So what did everybody think? Oh, I know. So Mom thought it was stupid? Madison? It's a stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Madison cried at Barbie. <laughs> She's sensitive. She knew she was gonna cry at Barbie. I thought that the message that Barbie was trying to portray, they did a really good job of like, like rebuilding their brand image I think with that they hit all the pillars all right guys I'm home and I literally just put on the fattest layer of CeraVe healing ointment all over my body like I'm glistening right now um because my skin feels so dehydrated but anyways I'm like so into this book I usually don't read at all in the evenings um only when I'm at the actual beach if I'm like on vacation but I can't stop thinking about this book, so I'm gonna read a little bit. It's like 10 o'clock right now. It's supposed to be kind of rainy tomorrow. My plan is to get some work done anyways, but I'm gonna start a new vlog, so stay tuned for that. I love you guys. I hope that you enjoyed my first week in the Outer Banks. I just love it here so much, and it feels so good to be with the fam and just relaxing and, you know? Next week's gonna be a little more routinely, more drone footage and all, all the good vibes, so. Stay tuned. I love you guys. Thanks so much for letting me live this dream. I love you and I will talk to you very soon.